Welcome back fellow fans of Clash of Clans, or if it is your first time here, there's still a few of you out there that are just discovering Clash of Clans. Make sure you hit that subscribe button before you leave and today. Alright, so you can see we've got the Noah's Ark trained up. We're talking about the state of the game and is Clash of Clans too easy? Has it become a true beginner's game, you guys? A lot of people have been complaining about that. A lot of people said even the clan games are too easy. I thought that was interesting. We'll kind of get around to that in a moment. But this right here, you guys, is the true test. If I can throw down a Noah's Ark and grab an easy two star, then this game is absolutely positively broken. Okay, because this is a terrible attack. This is the worst possible. Okay, well, I've seen worse, but it's pretty bad. Okay, this is a pretty bad attack. And you'll notice offense is so powerful right now that we're just going to mow through this base. Now on our way to the town hall, as you can see the heroes working their way towards the core, don't really need much but the heroes. The king not even maxed out, he's only level 45. Here comes that archer queen, big level 50, and she is gonna work her way towards that town hall despite all of those expos and, well, okay, the balloons, the balloons could be a problem, but you've got the king, Oh, the king went down. The, the, the dragon on the right-hand side just destroying structure after structure. As you can see, it doesn't look like we're going to get the town hall. But an easy single star. An easy 50% right here, you guys. Because this game... Hold on. Where's the dra... Alright, so... Um... Right, okay. But... Anyway, I mean, it was, it was close. Okay, it was close. So, 49%... 33 all right what so okay well so the game's not broken okay let's just say the game's not broken and that's the thing is it still kind of easy to win attacks yes I mean and here's the thing I am not bringing go wipe back like Justin Timberlake okay but go wipe has kind of become this attack of the past but I'm telling you right now if you guys want a solid two-star strategy go wipe I love it. I still love it. Now, I realize it's not the big three-star thing for you experts out there, and no, two stars don't win wars, but Go Wipe is a strong attack, and I do love the fact that it is back. I, I don't really love the fact, though, that honestly, you guys, even if you're pushing trophies up around the 6,000 trophy range, you don't really have to worry about losing, okay? It is such a rarity to see a high trophy player fail to at least get one star, to either get the Town Hall or 50%. And a lot of players can adjust their strategies just a little bit to make sure that that happens. Now, I will tell you that spell timing and placement is still, in my opinion, the absolutely most critical thing. That and not missing your Queen's ability when you're raiding like that. Could have changed that one. Of course, we're already going to stomp this village with Go Wipe, but the Archer Queen not hitting her ability there did cost me... A few extra structures, maybe even the three star, you guys. But what I'm trying to say is, yes, I do feel like things are a little bit too easy right now. And I miss the days of nail biters. I miss the days, I even, you guys, I had a video idea back about three years ago. I was going to hook a heart rate monitor up to myself while I raided. And you would watch as the raid progresses, as my heart rate increases as we try to grab two stars. And those of you that have been playing Clash of Clans for three or four years will remember that feeling. The feeling has really gone away and it's it's sad. I wish that would come back, but I feel like they are trying to balance it out to keep it fun for newer players. And you guys have to remember, the newer players are the ones that don't really know fundamental strategy sometimes. So maybe part of the answer is to educate newer players. Maybe there's a game mode, something we could add to Clash of Clans that would help make new players better at the game. I, I don't know what exactly that would be, but it's just an idea. So yes, right now the state of attack, offense over defense, super strong. If you want a true challenge, I'm suggesting you need to do one of two things if you really want a challenge in Clash of Clans. You either A, Go do Clan War and focus on three stars, which is still sort of difficult. I would say for the average player, that is a great goal to shoot for, trying to grab a three star against a similar base in Clan War. Or two, the other way you can go get a serious challenge in Clash of Clans right now, 
And I know people are going to think this is a four-letter word, but it's not. It's longer than that. Builder Hall. Okay, Hall is a four-letter word. But anyway, let's pop over there right now. And you guys, I'm telling you right now, the Builder Hall is where it's at for true competitive play. If you are willing to spend the time to grind out the levels to upgrade that base, you are going to find true challenges over here at the Builder Hall. So we pop into an attack, and uh, th that looks like a base we covered just the other day. Uh, well, for lack of imagination here, we're going to go ahead and come at the top right with the uh, dropships and minions. But right here, you guys, as we drop these guys, this is competitive play. This is where the nail biting takes place. Okay, this is where it is still a thrill because, yes, you may be able to get two stars most of the time, as I'm hoping we get two stars here. Okay, it looks, got to get through those air bombs right there. And uh, now we got to get the giant cannon. Okay, I think we're going to be okay because the air, yes. Got the got drop ships going to the giant cannon, and boom. There we go. Giant cannon down, crusher on the right hand side down, and builder hall down. So, yes, I will argue that either clan war or builder hall is where it's at if you want the thrill of competition. You want your heart to race through an attack. This is where you do it right now, I think. And speaking of, right here, we're kind of in that no man's land of percentage. Two stars, but we're in the 50s. It's not really until you get into the 70s can you really be confident that you probably are taking a win home. Now, we'll get a few more structures, but maybe not a lot. We've got two archer towers in there. We've got that Tesla off to the left-hand side, so no free structures for those re two remaining minions. So we're gonna drop them in after the battle machine gets in there. Battle machine may get a few more structures down. I don't think we're gonna get to the 70s, though. It's gonna be close. He's getting a lot of damage. Another ability, and it looks like this last minion is going to be pretty much just that's it. Okay, so 69 maybe? 69%? And now that that's close. Okay, that should probably be good for the win, you guys. But you never know. It's, it's close. So let's see. He's still attacking. Pop in real quick. Take a look at my base. And, and, uh, oh, oh, it's early on. Man, it's early. He's got those barbarians. He's got the wide open. It's, okay, this comes down to if the giant cannon hits his battle machine or not. Come on. No! It just missed it! How is that even possible? Battle Machine just got avoided, or just avoided the giant cannon, and now it's distracting... Oh man, that is not good for me. 53, this is gonna be close, you guys. 56, oh, the Battle Machine is still up! 64, this doesn't look good! 66, here comes the tie, there goes the loss... Oh, the Archer, the last Archer, no! The last Archer! I'm telling you guys, this is where it's at. I'm sorry. If you hate Builder Base, give it a try. I'm not selling it. I'm not selling anything else, but... Oh, that that sucks. Okay? It sucks for me. Whatever. Okay. So, anyway, yes, the game is kind of overpowered for offense at the home village. Uh, for the Builder Base, it is a lot of fun. For Clan Wars, I want to hear your guys' feedback. Not something I've done a great deal of. But I also wanted to take a chance to listen to some of your recent feedback... First, Waffles asking about my microphone. I actually switch off. I use a Blue Yeti and a Shure SM7B back and forth between those two. Uh, Marcos suggested more Goblin maps. Uh, I do like that idea. I'm hoping for something like that. Also, maybe combining that with teaching newer players how to get better at the game. Next up, we've got Gaming King. He says, why don't you make a troll base and have your clan members attack it? Did Gaming King, go back about like three days and watch my video. All right, next up, Mr. Cliffy. Shout out to Mr. Cliffy. He is talking about Lineage 2 Revolution. Yes, you guys, I do truly, sincerely love that game. We are playing on the Gyron 01 server. It says it right there, and I think there's a download link in the description still for the game, but join me. I play it every day. Uh, Maximilian says I should play Go Wipe more. Hey, hey, maybe Maximilian was channeling his way into this episode. All right, Eric says, just me playing clan games would be nice. You missed the main village videos. Well, you also get your wish today. And Guardian Clasher, you get your wish tomorrow. Lots of people have been asking for more Royale videos. I've got another Royale video coming up tomorrow. Until then, thank you guys for watching. Thank you for being part of the Galifam. Hit that subscribe button. Be kind to other people. And, of course, do me a favor. Come back again tomorrow for more full attacks. All right, the...
the end of this video. The ends, I mean, the ends of all my videos just don't seem right unless Peter's here. Peter! Peter! What is it? Right. You can come back, you you can come out of the bathroom. I can't. Just for a minute. Right. Oh boy.